Are you planning your next travel adventure but can't decide between Indonesia and Lebanon? Well, you're in luck because we're here to help you make that decision. In this video, we're going to compare these two beautiful countries in terms of culture, history, natural beauty, food, and tourism. So grab some popcorn and let's get started. Culture. Indonesia and Lebanon are two countries that boast rich and diverse cultures. Indonesia is home to over 300 ethnic groups, each with their own unique customs and traditions. The country is also famous for its vibrant batik and kabaya fabrics, intricate dances, and traditional music like gamelan. On the other hand, Lebanon is a melting pot of various cultures and religions, such as the Phoenicians, Greeks, Romans, and Ottomans. Lebanese culture is characterized by its exquisite cuisine, music, and dance, such as the dabke. So, if you're a culture vulture, both Indonesia and Lebanon have got you covered. History. Both Indonesia and Lebanon have a long and fascinating history that has shaped their culture and identity. Indonesia is known for its ancient Hindu and Buddhist temples, such as Borobudur and Prambanan, which date back to the 8th and 9th centuries. The country is also home to several colonial-era buildings and museums that showcase its past. Lebanon, on the other hand, is home to some of the world's oldest cities, such as Byblos, which dates back to 5000 BCE. The country has also seen the rise and fall of various empires, such as the Phoenicians, Romans, and Ottomans. So, history buffs, you won't be disappointed in either country. Natural beauty. When it comes to natural beauty, both Indonesia and Lebanon have some stunning landscapes that will take your breath away. Indonesia has over 17,000 islands, each with its own unique flora and fauna. The country is also home to some of the world's most beautiful beaches, such as Bali and Lombok. Indonesia is also known for its active volcanoes, such as Mount Bromo and Mount Krakatoa, which are popular hiking destinations. Lebanon, on the other hand, is known for its majestic mountains, such as the Lebanese Alps and its pristine Mediterranean coastline. The country is also home to some beautiful natural reserves, such as the Horsh Aden Nature Reserve. So, nature lovers, you'll be spoilt for choice in either country. Food. One of the best things about traveling is experiencing new and delicious cuisines. And both Indonesia and Lebanon have some mouth-watering dishes that will tantalize your taste buds. Indonesian cuisine is known for its rich flavors and spices, such as rendang, nasi goreng, and satay. The country is also famous for its unique coffee culture, such as kopi luwak. Lebanon, on the other hand, is known for its fresh and healthy Mediterranean cuisine, such as tabule, hummus, and kebabs. The country is also famous for its sweet treats, such as baklava and mamu. So, foodies, you won't be disappointed in either country. Tourism. Last but not least, let's talk about tourism. Indonesia is one of the world's most popular tourist destinations, thanks to its diverse attractions, such as Bali, Borobudur, and Komodo Island. The country is also known for its hospitality and friendly locals. Lebanon, on the other hand, is a hidden gem waiting to be discovered. The country offers a unique blend of culture, history, and natural beauty, such as the ancient city of Byblos, the Jaita Grotto, and the stunning Rausch Rocks. Lebanon is also known for its bustling nightlife and vibrant cities, such as Beirut and Tripoli. So, if you're looking for an off-the-beaten-path adventure, Lebanon might be the perfect destination for you. Sure, Here's a comparison between the prices in Indonesia and Lebanon. Accommodation. In Indonesia, you can find budget-friendly accommodation options such as hostels and guest houses for as low as $1.510 per night. In contrast, accommodation in Lebanon tends to be more expensive, with a standard hotel room costing around $1.5080 per night. Food. Indonesia is known for its affordable street food options, with local dishes such as nasi goreng and satay costing around $1.12. In Lebanon, food can be a bit more expensive, with a basic meal costing around $1.10.15. Transportation. In Indonesia, public transportation options such as buses and trains are relatively cheap, 
with a one-way ticket costing around 50 cents. One. In Lebanon, taxis tend to be the most popular mode of transportation, with an average ride costing around $1.1015. Activities. Both countries offer a range of affordable and expensive activities. For example, in Indonesia, you can visit temples and national parks for as little as $1.25, while scuba diving or surfing can cost upwards of $1.5100. In Lebanon, Cultural sites such as Byblos and the Jada Grotto cost around $1.1015, while skiing in the winter can cost up to $1.5100 per day. Overall, while both countries offer affordable options for travelers, Lebanon tends to be slightly more expensive than Indonesia. However, this shouldn't deter travelers from visiting either country, as both offer unique experiences and are well worth the cost. So, which country is the best destination for your next adventure? It really depends on your interests and preferences. If you're a culture vulture, both Indonesia and Lebanon have a lot to offer. If you're a nature lover, you won't be disappointed in either country. And if you're a foodie, you'll be spoilt for choice in both countries. Ultimately, the choice is yours. We hope this video has given you some insights into these two beautiful countries and helped you make that decision. Happy travels!